prices and other higher costs, farmers may be less likely to spend money to switch equipment that allows for better conservation. While these practices can lower yields, they can cut other costs like field work, time and fuel. North Dakota Senator Heidi Heitkamp says the Environmental Protection Agency's new Waters of the U.S. rule could cripple our agricultural economy and she's trying to change it. The Senate Environment and Public Works Committee passed a bill this week to send the rule back to the EPA for some changes. The rule, which went into effect in May, puts all waters, including those on private farmland, under federal regulation. Senator Heidkamp, who co-sponsored the bill, says it requires the EPA to consult farmers, ranchers, and others affected by the rule. The right way to do this is for Congress to legislate. We've got a great bipartisan bill. We expect that that bill um, could gather enough support to pass. We're going to work very hard to make that happen. Um, and that um, as we work through these issues, we will continue to shine a bright light on the rule um, that EPA just released, which could in fact cripple our agricultural economy. Heidkamp says her Federal Water Quality Protection Act would not affect protections currently in place for waters already regulated by the Clean Water Act or put drinking water at risk for pollution. Farms in greater North Dakota made more money than those in the Red River Valley.